right, so on the agenda for today, I'm gonna knock down some of the rough stops from the uh, rough in first layer and then put on the first coat. And I've got all these to do too, so I'm gonna go around and knock down all the you know the paint marks and lines. I mean here you can see how it's sticking up. You just knock it down. I've got a tool that does that well. My multi-purpose paint tool. And then there's another closet that kind of matches this. Right here, which had shells in it and stuff too. And so I'm gonna spackle and paint this so that they can kind of set it up to set it up to be what they really want it to be. So here I'm using a painter's tool. It's one of my favorite tools to use. It's great for doing prep work for finishing because you can scrape and pull and push and drag and just about anything with it. Baby, I've been hearing, been hearing stories about where you're from and what you want to show me. Let's make it happen. And I'm talking now, because I can't waste another day not knowing what you're about. I want to meet your mother, want to know your partner. Here's a trick I learned on another channel using the butt of the tool to go ahead and make sure that all of the nail holes are innies and not outies. So you just push push it in um, with the butt, um, turn it around a little bit and um, it should really hold the mud really well at that point. I want to take that back road where you wrecked your first car, that bright red seat top, you didn't get too far. We'll hit that dance hall that I've heard so much about. I'll be the new girl, the talk of this small town. With all the prep complete, I'm starting to put on the first coat. And I didn't do a rough coat where I had the shelves and the um, clothes rod. The drywall was still in really great shape, and there was just no need to do that. We can pop a top, stay up all night, see where this goes, count the stars above. We still got a lot to discover. But first, I want to meet your mother. Yeah. I don't know where we're going and I don't know how this ends. I just know. When we watch that sunset under southern skies near the water's edge where the crickets call somebody might fall in love We can pop a top, stay up all night, see where this goes, count the stars above my time I let my dreams die young 
Cause I misread the signs Signs it might be over Signs I'm not so young I'm not so young If you look, I mean, now that it's dry and all one color, it doesn't look all that bad. But if you look up real close, I mean, and I get the, you know, it, it's rough. But what's nice is it's all on the same plane, more or less. So what I'll do is I'll sand it down, trying to get, it, you know, a, the same plane. And I'm not sure how to say it right. I mean, I'm sure there's a good way to say this, but this was very wavy because of the the wall just wasn't straight they made the wall on this side straight and on this side straight but then I had to gap them so the idea is to make it straight all the way across more or less and I think I have that now you know there's it's a little bump bumpy but nothing you know where hey, you're looking across the room and you go oh yeah that's completely out of whack now is it smooth? No. Is it in the same plane? Well, like right here, I can tell this little piece here is a little bit too low. But up here, it's almost perfect. Right? 
And before, it wasn't like a little bit too low. It was a lot too low. It wasn't even in the right ballpark. So I'll sand this down, knock down the big, big pieces, get the edges kind of clean, spend most of the time on that, and then I'll put one more coat on it to completely get it nice and smooth and clean and sand it, and then we'll paint. Doing all this hand sanding really makes me miss the drywall sander. I use that when doing the uh, project for the garage. I'll put a link above. Um, you know, it was just great the way the vacuum would suck all the dust up and everything um, that was attached to it. Now what I'm doing here to make sure that fine dust doesn't kind of like float its way out into the master bedroom, I've turned on the fan in the uh, inner bathroom where the tub is in the shower um, to build up some negative pressure in that outer vestibule area that I'm working. So that's going to draw some of that floating dust into that area and it's a lot easier to clean that fine dust off the uh, tile than it is furniture. I'm using the light here to create shadows from the imperfections in the wall. If I plan on doing a whole bunch of drywall work in the future, once I get my construction company open, um, I'll buy a nice light system that can go on a stand so I don't have to hold this thing. Um, and just kind of as a little test, stand you know five feet away from the wall and point a bright light straight at the wall, and it's going to look fine. And then take that same light and then hold it about five degrees away from the edge and point it down the long ways of the wall and you will see all sorts of waves and imperfections and stuff that the original contractors that put in the drywall missed. Okay, just because I forgot, one of the things I did is I put a little water in this this time to thin it out even more. Because I'm really now doing the final coat and I want it smooth um, and thin. I know I'm calling this the final coat, but it really isn't going to be the final coat. Well, in most places it is. I think this um, makes the mud smooth enough and looks good enough on about 80% of the areas that I'm I'm working on but that other 20% is going to get another coat. Normally you're going to put three coats on um, and possibly a fourth depending on how ugly your rough coat is. Now once I finish this wall we're actually going to put built-ins in, um, IKEA built-ins and so almost all of this work is going to get covered. There's going to be a little bit um, on the ceiling and the side walls, which is one of the reasons I'm taking so much time on that wall going into you know the, the inner bathroom um, because you'll be able to see it. But a lot of this work is going to get hidden. That doesn't mean I'm giving myself leave to do a crappy job, but I'm feeling like I don't need to do any better than what's already there. You probably can't tell it yet, but my cold is pretty much in full force at this point. Um, it's a mild cold at this point. It gets a little bit worse two or three days down the road. I kind of keep ahead of it by um, taking two or three hot showers a day. Did not read the signs. signs within the weather This is the end.
you know it was his end I'll try and describe this a little bit better. So there was that little kick out wall, which actually was like three two by four stacked on top of each other. So the wall closest to the door was out a little bit farther than the wall that was on the far side, you know, in the closet. Um, it, it didn't kind of even up. Um, so I, I kind of had to, to do that to make the wall look right. And it's some place that you're gonna see a lot because your eyes are gonna get drawn to that area because of the door. So I'm doing a lot of extra work there. Now on the final layer, this is coat three with a little bit of touch-up done. I notice I still need to do a little bit of touch-up. This was to save the dust from getting into the other room. Well, it's kind of in the way to finish this corner, so that needs to be touched up a little bit. And I notice I missed some down at the bottom. It's because I sanded a little bit already. Um, but we'll go ahead and keep sanding. On the roof, the game plan is to do um, like 120 on the edge and then we'll do the entire thing with 200. Just kind of like smooth it down and knock it down. And then we'll go through and see if there's just, you know, this little thing or that little thing that needs to be touched up. This one, I'm hopeful that we don't have to do anything but sanding because I went through it with a fine tooth comb last night, this area. And the back wall, there were tiny little things that need to be fixed. Um, I'll go through and sand them by hand a little bit with a with one of the blocks, but it, it doesn't need a whole lot. That shouldn't take more than a couple of minutes to just go through and like, you know, here's a line that needs to be just sanded down a little bit more. 